What's up, everybody? It is your boy, Brandon. And if you're like me, you have went out with your brand new A7R5. You've taken some photos, did that incredible photo shoot, came back to your computer and uploaded those raw files into Lightroom just to come across this error. Now, unfortunately, at the release of the A7R5, there is no raw file support in Lightroom when shooting uncompressed raw, but fear not, there is a workaround. Thanks to a guy on YouTube, Danny Bly, who was able to show me the code that he used um, as a workaround to get his raw file supported in Lightroom. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have moved your raw files from your SD card to a hard drive or onto your computer and inside an actual folder. Okay, it needs to be inside a folder on a hard drive or however you load your things, but it has to be off of your SD card and onto a folder on a hard drive. Okay, now once you have moved your files from your SD card to a folder, you need to go to the internet and you need to type in exiftool.org. Again, that's exif tool.org now once you get to this site there are two options you will have one for windows and you will have one for mac now once you download the software to your computer and install it you will be good to go now what this software is going to do is basically going to take your a7r5 files and convert them to a7r4 files because a7r4 is supported in lightroom so that's what this software is going to do. Now, like I said, I haven't tried this on Windows, but it's not necessarily that the code is only Mac. It's just that you have to run terminal. I don't remember how to do that on Windows. So if you're a Windows user and you know how to run terminal, um, it still may work for you. So you can definitely try it. But if you are a Mac user, you need to go open up terminal in order so we can run this code. So if you're using Mac OS, you need to open up terminal. Now the code that you need to run is the code on screen right now. I will also leave this code in the description box below just in case you need it at a later date. So all you need to do is copy this code and paste it in terminal. Now before you press enter in terminal, you need to get the link onto where you stored your pictures at first because you're gonna have to add that link to terminal also. So again, we're gonna put the code in first in terminal. Do not press enter. We now need to go copy the location of your raw files and where you saved them at to actually add that to terminal also. So we're gonna do that now. So we're gonna to navigate to the folder to where we just saved the raw files at. And we're gonna click on one of the raw files and then we're gonna to go to finder and then we're gonna copy the location on the where box. And that's exactly where we stored those files in. Now what's really, really important is that you, can, you cannot have any spaces in the location so users and your name and however you set it up there cannot be any spaces in the location for when we put this actually over into terminal so now what we're going to do is we're going to copy that location and we're going to take it over to terminal and we're going to paste that into terminal now what's really really important is that you need to make sure that there is a space between the R and the code that we put in and the location that we put in. There has to be a space. They cannot be ran together. Now, once you do that, you can go ahead and hit enter, and then you can go back to the original folder where the files were saved at, and you will see the converted files, but you can also see your original files, and it's gonna say original. It's gonna be the same um, format. There's still gonna be ARW on raw files for your original for uh, original files but you're also going to have the converted files so then you can also move those once you do that to another folder and you can make sure that you keep that code in that link to just in case you have any other files that you need to do you're going to follow the same process now at this stage what you can do is you can select all the raw files and you can drag them into lightroom or what i did is that i actually made two folders until Lightroom comes out with support for the A7R5. So I took my original files and I put them in a folder by itself. And then I took the converted files and I put them in a separate folder. And then I can just work off of the converted files. Now, from what I see, there is no quality loss. There is no, no difference between my original files and the converted files to A7R4 files. Again, because it's still a 61 megapixel camera 
is reading it just the same. Um, so I do not see any type of lawless um, quality in work or anything like that. Everything looks good to me. So um, as you can see here, we already converted them. They're there and everything just looks great. Now, again, we don't know how long it's going to be before we get raw file support in Lightroom from Adobe. So in the meantime, like I said, I would basically separate those folders. Um, if you have different hard drives or what have you, I would definitely keep your original uh, original raw files in one folder and keep the converted files separately and you, continue, and you can continue to work off of those converted files. Now, I'm not saying that the exit data that you convert to is gonna be 100% correct. Um, there is no way for me to absolutely tell that. I mean, some people that might diagnose it um, may be able to find a little bit of something, I don't know, but from what I see and what I've been using so far, there is no issue with it. They convert fine, they look good in Lightroom. Um, I can edit them fine um, and everything still looks good. So, but again, anytime you do something like this, nothing is 100%. So that's a workaround is worked. And I'm just glad to share with you again, big shout out to Danny Blight on um, YouTube for uh, helping out with this. I really appreciate it. But yeah, I don't think it's going to degrade any of your raw files. So again, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, this is your boy, Brandon Cole, AKA the Kevin Hart of Photography. And um, yeah, definitely get those raw files converted, man. And like I said, enjoy the workaround until Adobe gets off of their butt and gives us actually raw file support in Lightroom, all right? It's your boy, Brandon, signing off. Peace, I holla.